Hi guys, this is Roman the Math Person, and today I'll be going over question 291 on SOA exam P. Pause the video real quick and try to spell myself. Okay, assume that we attempted it, let's just dive right in. A government's employee's yearly dental expenses follows a uniform distribution from 200 to 1,200. The government's primary dental plan reimburses an employee for up to 400, and a supplemental plan pays up to 500 for any of the dental many dental expenses. Let Y represents the yearly benefit paid by the supplement. Okay, okay. Calculate variance of Y. Alright, so we first, I'm going to draw like a little thingy. So, you can have up from 200 to 1,200 dollar or whatever the currency may be. And it's uniform on this interval. Okay, and if it's 400, if it's less than 400, the yearly benefit paid by the supp um, supplement would be zero, right? Because the there is a um, it reimburses it up to 400 dollars for any dental experience um expense incurred. But if it's over 400, this um. The benefit paid by the supplement would be X minus 400, but they only pay up to 500, right? So then that's from 400 to 400 plus 500, which is 900. So from 400 to 900, they pay um, X minus X amount, X amount minus 400. So they're taking this part, so we just get this area. Okay, and if it's over 900, well, they only pay you 500 because 500 is the maximum that they're willing, the supplemental plan is willing to cover. Okay, so now we have that. We just all we have to do is just find expectation, our favorite formula, right? Our favorite formula, finding the second moment, and then finding the first moment, and the whole thing squared. Alrighty. So the first, the first moment or the expectation would just be. Well, we know from 200 to 400 is just zero, so let's just start from. 400 to 900 our probability distribution our PDF of a uniform distribution is just 1 over B minus a Which in our case would be 1 over 1,000 Okay, so that's 1 over 1,000 Times the first expectation. So that's just X minus 400 DX plus from 900 to 1,200 that's just 500 times 1 over 1,000. Okie dokie, let me check it. So this turns out to be, I'm going to factor out the 1,000 now. So this is x minus 4,000 or 400 squared divided by 2. So I'll just, actually, I'll just write this as 1 over 2,000 integrated from 400 to 900 plus, this is just actually just 3 of, oh, Two of these cancel out, so that's just 5 over 10, which is just 1 half. X integrated from 900 to 1,200. 1, okay, okay. So this would be 900 minus 400. That's just 500 squared. 500 squared over 2,000. And if I plug in 400, that just becomes 0. Plus um, 1,200 divided by 2, that's 600. Minus 9,000 divided by 2. So that just... 450 right right so this is equal to let's plug it into the calculator real quick squared divided by 2000 plus 600 minus 450 so this is equal to 275 okay so what would it be for the second moment well, our second moment here is integrating over the same range except now it's going to be x minus 400 to the second power dx plus 900 same range here but this is going to be just 500 squared over our integral our pdf dx alrighty so this one's a little bit more involved i guess x minus 400 this is to the cubed over 3,000, integrating from 400 to 900, plus, 
Okay, I this is five hundred squared over one thousand times x, integrating from nine hundred to one thousand two hundred. Okay, so I'm gonna type that whole thing into the calculator real quick. So that's five hundred cubed divided by three thousand plus five hundred squared over one thousand one two zero zero minus nine hundred so that's equal to one one six 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 point six six you know so on and on okay so then our variance formula finally would be just equal to this number right here oh would just be equal to this number minus the 275 this whole thing squared okay let me type that into the calculator real quick which is equal to 410.6 repeating which is our answer choice C if you guys have any questions feel free to leave them down below otherwise make sure you like subscribe and share bye